consistent. You want to give them the inside half, I'm okay with that, but then you can't give them away. If you're going to stay east-west, you better pick one side. Striding in for Houston, Josh Reddick. And you can see great numbers over the past few games. He's set. Here it comes. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. Segura for one. On to first. Not time as the umpire was right there to make the call next up for the Strohs George Springer and Houston looking for more here in just the opening frame of the game first pitch of the at bat took a wave at one around the shins with no luck Ready, here's the 0-1. In there, now the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. 0-2, oh, here it comes. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Gordon moves over, and that's the third out. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Astros two and the Mariners coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Justin Verlander will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him Dan. Hey Matty V we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been like white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. Here's D. Gordon we now. It lead things off here in the bottom Man, half of the first. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. And fellows, these Astros entering play here tonight, they come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. And now a quick look at the Mariners' starting lineup in this one. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, you better keep an eye on Robinson Cano as this game moves along. He had over 90 RBIs last year. What a great season, but I think he could do even better. His goal this year, I think it's got to be 100 runs batted in. He's that kind of a hitter. First pitch on its way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. Bases are empty, one man out. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Zero. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. 
two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Verlander gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. Down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. 0 1 count. Here's the pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. That's a tough pitch to throw right there. That front door curveball. Just missed hitting that inside corner. That's a very difficult pitch. I'm not sure if he wanted to get that one down and away. And unfortunately, that one stayed inside. Little tapper down the third baseline. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Mariners are down in order. They're still down. It's 2 0. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp he went deep in the contest last night. First pitch coming. Here it is. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Now the 0 1. Missed with a breaking ball. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Cano fields it cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Okay, here's how the Mariners are going to line up defensively. And let's focus on Robinson Cano, one of the softest hands in all our sport. Probably turns one of the best double plays in the game. Captain of the defense. Here's the catcher Brian McCann He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch hit high and deep out to left. Gamble looks up. Out of here into the visitors bullpen. A solo home run for Brian McCann. Fourth home run here in the early going, and the Astros have taken a three to nothing lead. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. Standing in now, Kenny Lofton. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The wind up and the 0-1. And a breaking ball down and in here as he's got a hop out of the way there. That's a good pitch right there, but you know, as a base stealer, when you're in the box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet, so he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. Hit hard towards center, and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Hey guys, he doubled up on that breaking ball. The batter obviously timed the first one. Second one, he was not going to let go. Good wood on that one, able to drive it for a base hit. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Altuve. Just five foot six inches tall and bats from the right side. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. Some guys only get to free agency one time in their career. This guy has a chance to get there for a second time and in the prime of his career. Is he able to handle the pressure as he plays out this final season? Here it comes, 0-2. 
Again, he sends it out of play. Here comes another 0 2. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone. A two run blast to straight away right field, number 14 on the season, as the Astros will open up a 5 0 lead. Into the box, Will Clark. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. The 1 0. Line drive to left. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. He hit the corner and tries for third. Throw won't get him. And that's the chance you take when you lay out for a ball like that. You make the play and you're a hero on the highlight shows. You miss it and you're picking yourself up and chasing after it. Stepping in now, Jeff Bagwell. Hits sharply toward the right side. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And add one more as this is now a 6-0 ball game. Into the box now, Alex Bregman, a base hit in his first trip. And a ball 1 0. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is, he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. Around second now and headed for third. The tag, and he is out at third, and with that. Here now is Mike Zanino. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going, so what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, man, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. I got to believe this is an awesome time for this pitcher to get real aggressive in the strike zone. He's got a huge lead. He knows he can pound and try and polish up his mechanics down and away. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Time for a look at the Houston Astros on D. And let's focus our attention on the guy behind the plate putting the digits down. That's Brian McCann. I don't think he gets enough credit for his defense. The ability to massage a pitching staff soft hands and a nice throwing arm to second base. We already know from the offensive side he's a multiple time all star with the ability to launch. Next for Seattle Robinson Cano he of course the most valuable player in last summer's all star game a called strike to the 35 year old veteran nothing in one. That fastball was a lively one you could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. One out, nobody on. Little flare out to left, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, with two strikes right there, he didn't try and do too much. He took what the pitcher gave him, got the front foot down, and was able to fist feed a soft liner over the infielder's head. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. His line against Justin Verlander, he's 0 for 8. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Ready with the 0-2. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball.
count remains at 0-2. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. This is line to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. Well, that's just a case deal roll. You've got to make a little bit better pitches with two strikes. Jumps ahead 0-2, oh and, and then a couple of foul balls, and on pitch number five, he squares one up for a base hit. Yeah, I can't tell you how nice that feels right there. You battle to get and count leverage and fight to get your A swing off. 0-2, oh you're almost turned around walking back to your dugout, so that's a nice piece of it. To know at third, Henniger is over at second with one down in the inning. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy, and he fouls this one off. 281, the average entering play. Six home runs and a dozen RBIs. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. Stepping in is Josh Reddick, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Josh Reddick. First pitch on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Chopper foul. Reddick is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters, and, and truly blessed by the gods. But I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. Number four. Settling in now, George Springer. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Squared that one up just a little late. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Takes this the other way to right. Henniger back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. That's one of those tough luck outs that will drive you crazy as a hitter. He drove that fastball but couldn't get it down, so he has to take hard contact as a consolation. In now, Tony Kemp. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Into the box now, Brian McCann. 
Drilled on the ground to short, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Astros leave one, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Leading off for the Mariners. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. And they are squarely into chip away mode, looking at a six nothing deficit already in this one. No balls in one strike. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 2. Hit to short. Lofton takes it in. And there's one away. So with one away, a couple of teams out of the AL West doing battle in this one. So let's check out where they sit in the standings entering play here today. Digging in now for the Mariners, D. Gordon. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Q shot here out towards short. Oh, and it goes right under the glove as he can't even knock it down. To chalk that one up as an E6, and he really can't believe it out there. Now in the box, Gene Segura. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. There goes the runner. That's a strike to throw down. And it's behind the runner to first. Gordon, the runner at second with one away. Hit toward the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. The throw to the plate. And he will beat the throw to McCann safe at home plate. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, d -Row, because this outfielder has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, and when you're sitting in the hitter's meeting, that's the thing of all. So every... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So the Houston lineup turns over, and to the plate, Kenny Lofton. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. First pitch coming. Here it is. Grounded to short. Close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. So one away here with the bases empty and striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Yeah, and going back to that last A.B. when he hit the home run, Matty, that ball was up and out of the zone. This guy's a real good high fastball hitter. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking I got to get that ball somewhere below the knees because this guy definitely likes that ball up and elevated. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. Standing in now, Will Clark, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. A one pitch on its way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Oh, right back to him on the mound. To second for one. Relay to first in time and just like that. Here now is Mike Zanino. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And there's a fastball from Verlander to jump ahead 0 and 1. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Kemp. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. 
the batter, second baseman, Robinson Cano. So the bases are empty with one man gone and set to stand in the fine second baseman, Robinson Cano. First pitch of the at bat. And it's fouled away. One run on three hits and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Bregman over to his left. Two down. Now batter. Right fielder. Max Hanniger. At the plate, Mitch Hanniger. One for one after a single his first time up. Verlander gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit the other way out toward right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing against Verlander that time around. 6 1 our score. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jeff Bagwell. He'll start things out against James Paxton as we get the inning underway. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. In his last at bat, he was thrown out trying to stretch a double into a triple. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Six runs, 11 hits, one error so far for the Astros. Into the corner and slicing foul. Drives it the other way to deep right. Henniger ranging back at the track, but he can't get there and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Juan Nicasio will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Josh Reddick will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. Strike taken, the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Line towards center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's now 7-1. to one. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send it. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. Now at the plate, George Springer. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a 1 for 3 games so far. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. Yeah, he certainly has. He's seeing the ball so big, Matty. You see the confidence oozing off him in the box. He hasn't fished at anything in the last month or so. So I don't expect this to go away anytime soon. 
Stepping in now the speedy Tony Kemp as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. One for two in the ball game thus far. Here's the 0 1. Swinging a soft liner. And they will get. No, he's in there. A very close play at first. Here's the catcher, Brian McCann. Boy, that's what wheels can do for you, Dero. You can see this right here on this replay. He just simply outruns the white rabbit. He just outruns the baseball. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. You know why? Because this is the one tool you can't teach. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. But if you got no wheels, newsflash, you got no wheels. This is pulled into right. Henniger is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Little tapper down the first baseline. That's a foul ball. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Sliders in for a strike. A late swing on the slider and quickly it's 0 and 2. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone. And when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. Still one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Two balls and two strikes to count to Ryan Healy. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Full count now. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Reddick is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. The batter. Stepping into the box, Ben Gamble. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now a ball softly hit and fouled off to the left. Strike one. Two out, nobody on. Popped up. Bregman moving to his left. He makes the play, and that'll end. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Kenny Lofton. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Slap hard the opposite way. Now a dive, but he can't get there, and this is going to be trouble out there in left center. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay throw, and he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. That was not the way this pitcher envisioned the beginning of the game. Going for him wasn't that bad of a pitch. He jumps all over it. Nobody can run it down, and he's standing at third feeling pretty good about himself. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, as he rips it on the ground to second. There's Cano. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Great job to cash in following that leadoff triple. Infield's back, so you just want to make sure you get it on the ground, and that's an easy RBI. Now the Astros' designated hitter, Will Clark. Base is empty in front of him with one away following the RBI ground out. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh, they want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. 
first baseman number Wow, five. when you're swinging the bat like Seven. he is, Back you want well. the game to go to extra so you can get some more ABs. That's his third hit of the game, and his swing just keeps getting better and better. Almost hit that one out of here, but he'll take a double anytime. Stepping in now, Jeff Bagwell, as he swings and hits a laser to right. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Taking another look at it, the ball has some topspin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. Into the box, Alex Bregman. There's a drive out toward the gap in left center. And this is going to get to the wall now out near the Mariner bullpen. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Yeah, and giving up an RBI double is always painful, but even more so when there are two outs in the inning. A run had already crossed the plate, and then he gives up a blistering double to allow another run on the board. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He swings and lines it to left. That's in there. Base hit. And to score, the runner from second. So he's able to come through here with two away. And that's a good time to check out our RBI leaders on the league leaderboard. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Here's George Springer trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. The relay. And he is in there with an RBI triple. That triple just seems to be par for the course for him of late. Yeah, Matty, he's seen the ball extremely well. There's no doubt about that. You can see here that the body is calm. He keeps his hand back, and he just explodes through the baseball, winding up at third with another RBI under his belt. Here's the first pitch to him. A changeup over the inside corner. Well, this season is off to a rough start for him, and I, I think the worst part is when you're getting your hat handed to you early this season, you look up and you see your ERA in the double digits. It takes a long time to get an ERA to come down when you're only pitching an inning or two at a time. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Stepping in, Brian McCann hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. First pitch on its way. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Set. Here's the 0-1. Back up the middle. And it's through for a base hit. His second of the ball game. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Set it back right where it came from. In now, Kenny Lofton. Now the double hey. steal is on here. Strike called. Now the throw down. Well, that definitely caught me off guard there. That wasn't exactly the typical steal situation with two outs and a runner on second. I can't say I agree with the strategy, but at the same time, now he can score a lot of different ways. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Kemp on third. McCann on at second with two down. Popped high in the air. Cano is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. 
So this already sizable lead gets even larger. Here's D. Gordon now. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game that this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. All right, let's see if that leadoff single gets them going right now. They've taken it on the chin for most of this game, being a little passive at the plate in their approach. Let's see if that starts them off and they start to go more ambush tactics. Gene Segura standing in. Pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. I know it goes without saying, but the best pitch in baseball is getting ahead with a first pitch strike. That's why this guy's been able to stay in this game. Pounding the zone. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. First delivery to him on the way. Strike one to start the at bat. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. He'll be kicking himself tonight if he doesn't come up with a big knock right here. That pitch was in a hittable location, and a hitter of this caliber usually doesn't let that go by. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. First offering on its way. And that one just missed outside. Two out with the man at first. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for Seattle. They're looking up at a 12 to one deficit. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Popped up. Under it here is Seeger to make the play. One gone. Up next for the Astros, the designated hitter, Will Clark. Striding forward now is the DH, Will Clark. He'll look to keep it going three for four so far in the ballgame. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. And it's gone. A solo homer off the bat of Will Clark. Number 11 for him on the season as they just continue to pour it on here. James Pazos enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Into the box now, Jeff Bagwell. Hard liner to center field. Gordon is there, two gone. Third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. First pitch on its way. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Gamble going back on it, and it's gone as they add still another. And we've seen four round trippers from these guys so far. Dan, Dero, what do you make of all this? Matty V, Dero, I don't know what you think, but this is this is like crazy. Fourth round tripper of the game so far. Yeah, you're watching this pitcher. He's just not executing on both sides. They're missing over the heart of the plate, not using the quadrants. 
in the hitters meeting, they focused on this stuff. They thought these guys could miss middle, and that's exactly what's yeah. happened. Oh, two. Behind 0-2 now. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Swing and a soft liner. A bare hand play by Cano. He's out. They get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Hey, I'm surprised he went to that spot in his own. This guy's known for being a down and in hitter. Don't expect too many pitches going in that spot. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And that's dead center for strike one. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He went down on strikes last time up. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Verlander into his motion. 0 1 on its way. Tough slider down low for a strike. Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carved a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Here's George Springer. Leading off for Houston. Center fielder, George Springer. From the stretch. Up around the face. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp. Singled home a run in his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a whiff at a good slider that time. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Swung on and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Here's the catcher, Brian McCann. This one's also hit well. Deep down the right field line. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Now here's the pitch. Goodness, 0-2 oh now. For the most part, he's looked really locked in at the plate in this game. Not so much on that swing, though. And that is swung on and missed as McCann is retired for the first out. Standing in, Kenny Lofton. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. Lofton takes the turn at third. He wants it all. And he's safe at the plate as they extend their lead even further. The fans are not happy, and I can't blame them. And inside the Parker on that hit, there's simply no excuse for that. And everyone in the ballpark knows it. We'll see if he can shake it off and get out of the top half of this inning. Standing in now, Jose Altuve. And a bouncing ball. Pop. Working on a good line in this ball game, three for five thus far. Now 
a swing and a miss and things are not looking real promising here down 0 and 2. A pause and the 0 2 lifted in the air out towards left center calling for it. Gordon two gone. So standing in, Will Clark. And he's got the tough ones out of the way. Only a single, and he'll have the cycle. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. I had him reaching a thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. This one's flared out toward left. Segura onto the grass, and the inning is over. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. The windup and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Now the 0 2 pitch. And he struck him out. The 10th victim set down on strikes thus far. Now with the plate, Ben Gamble. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One and two. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. So striding in, Gene Segura, runner in scoring position with Sugar. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Gamble stands at second with two gone. Segura behind on a 1-2 and two count. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ballgame. Welcome back under the roof here at Safeco Field in Seattle. Great look there at the Emerald City. Tony Zitch comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field, and this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. <laughs> Stepping in now, Alex Bregman. This will get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's looking to make this a very memorable ball game as he's already five for five. Yeah, Matt. That last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Right fielder. Coming to the plate now, Josh Reddick. He's one for four for the game. Marwin Gonzalez will come on now as the pinch hitter. 
hard liner towards short. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Center fielder, number four. Stepping up to the plate, George Springer. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. Striding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, Tony Kemp. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. In there, now the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gordon has it in his tracks. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some run scored for him, but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight, and he gets another insurance run on top of it. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brian McCann. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's set and the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gamble is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. So they pick up three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and no one left on base. One more shot coming up will go to the bottom of the ninth. The Astros lead it 20 to 1. Marwin Gonzalez will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Number nine. Marwin, Here's Nelson Cruz now starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. First pitch of the at bat. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Soft liner to the left side, and one gone. The catcher, number three, Mike Zunino. Here now is Mike Zanino. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Yeah. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. A bouncer to the left side. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to first, and the Mariners are now down to their final out. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Mariners are down to their final out now and set to stand in the fine second baseman Robinson Cano. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. High in the air down the right field line. He's got it and the Astros will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over 20 to one this evening. 
The Houston Astros brought their big bats to the park in this one, hammering seven home runs. Justin Verlander earns win number four.